back up this one in a minute. This has to do with Monroe Finances. All right? Good. It's been widely published in the paper and openly discussed in public city council meetings that the city's general fund is approaching a negative balance by 2014. As a city council member, what specific ideas would you have to correct the situation? I'm going to stand up for this, okay? If no one minds, I, I, I'm going to head over the podium. Sure. It's, it's important to, to, to realize that what's been advertised in the paper is a working five-year budget. This, these are working forecast numbers. As it stands today, we have $5.1 million in our general fund. What's being publicized is that we're going to have a negative fund balance. It's not true. We're going to have $3.1 million in our general fund by the end of 2015 by the current budgetary forecast, which isn't even close to being done. So we're going to continue to work to cut our expenses, to look for ways we can make government run a little bit simpler, a little bit better, that we spend less of your hard-earned money. You know, we can't possibly come to you guys for a tax increase. It's not going to happen. Why? Because you know people are hurting out there. This isn't, this isn't 2000, 2001 where things are going very, very well. Th things aren't as bad as people say they are, but we still have to keep a watchful eye on the money that we spend. And that's what I've been doing for the last 10 months since I've been on council, is looking at every single budgetary item and making sure that the money that we're spending is the most responsible way we can spend our money. I, I think continuing forward, we keep a sharp eye on as a, from a report from the Middletown Journal that we'd be in a fund deficit. To today, we're $3.1 million better. Thank you. Good, thank you. You can give that Bob Kelly if you don't. The, uh, as Mr. Black stated, the reports in the paper were that we were going to have negative fund balances, and those, those were based on a preliminary draft proposal that our finance director presented to us some months ago. Um, since that point in time, we've had a couple of meetings to talk about how we're going to solve these problems. We've rated in some of the budget areas. We've asked some of the department heads to reevaluate some of the programs that we're going to run um, that they could make cuts in that did not affect service to residents. Through those cuts, we've been able to go from a negative fund balance to a projected 3.1 million positive fund balance at the end of five years. Now, we're still losing $2 million from the five point, whatever we have in the bank today, to the 3.1 we're going to have at the end of five years. And those are due to cuts at the state level, degradation of property taxes from foreclosures, degradation of property values from cuts that we've already received in the areas uh, revolving around the Sun Code project. That's what's happened to your city. Property values are going down as a result of some of these projects. And as a member of the Planning Commission, one of the key things that we've been trying to do is to bring more business in and try to help offset those fund balances at the end. Okay. Good question. The real thing is, last, time, last question, I think you got kind of into that a little bit. But, uh, you can maybe reiterate. Uh, as briefly as possible, uh, what your what you see the financial situation will be down the road, what change what changes or what decisions have been made by city council to address uh, the challenges that face so a lot of uh, cuts that have come from the state, no question about it, that's true in every community. So how should we do that here? Yeah, there's you know as you said, Bill, there's no question that the uh, cuts from the state have an impact on the city's budget. Um, but as I think I said earlier, I, I do think there's a spending problem uh, that City Council has not addressed. Uh, and in fact, uh, I think that the Council is continuing, even though it's projecting a deficit through 2015, it's continuing to commit uh, to spend funds. Uh, in fact, just at the most recent Council meeting, uh, they approved uh, going after grant money that, you know, even if it secured the grants will pay the lion's share of it, but it would still raise the, the city's uh, financial commitment by $60,000. Uh, I disagree with that. Uh, I don't think that we should be out searching for new projects to do uh, at a time when we're predicting a deficit for the next five years. Uh, and I think it, uh, 
I think city council should be providing leadership and guidance to the city management uh, that they shouldn't be out looking for new projects, that they should be looking for opportunities to reduce expenses, uh, to operate more efficiently. And I, uh, based on what I've seen at the most recent council meetings, I don't think that message is out there. And, and that's, uh, you know, when I talk about being a, uh, a fiscally conservative candidate, that's the message that I would be bringing to council, is that uh, we need to, you know, stop business as usual, start acting like we have a budget problem, and start doing something about it at every meeting. Thank you. So you probably have a wealth of uh, knowledge and Experience and get all the arguments and all the things that have been discussed. What are your feelings about how solve the budget crisis or prospect? Fortunately, we don't have a crisis. Okay. Um, when we came out of fiscal emergency, and just to make a note, faster than practically anybody ever has done, we, we were we were lean. We were working um, to make sure that. Every expenditure that could be cut was that made sense because we still had to, to provide services to our people. That every revenue that we could get, we were getting. That we were making the most of all of our money and that we were not spending if we didn't have the money. And I believe that we're still doing the same. Going right into 2011, we were doing very well. We were not going out spending like crazy people. In fact, one of the first things that our city manager learned when, um, I believe it was Susie and Bob Kelly and I got on the council, was when he comes to council and says, I want you to pass this legislation and it's gonna involve spending money, one of us was saying, what's our benefit? What's the cost benefit here? If we're gonna spend this money, we better get something for it and it better be worthwhile and it better be for, for the city's future and for our improvement. So the city manager does not come to council unless he fully believes and can argue without us even asking anymore, what are we gonna get for it? And if we're not gonna get it, he doesn't even bother bringing that kind of stuff to council. He knows we're going to vote it down. So to use the, the example of our recent council meeting, there were four grants. I was ready to vote no. I was told by our city uh, manager that if we get the grants, which more than likely we're not going to get, and in fact three out of the four we tried for before we didn't get, we're probably not even going to get any of them if we do only one. Even if we're given the opportunity to take the grant, we don't have to take it. We can say no, we don't want the money. We're just looking to see if we can get it. And if we do get the money, it won't even be until next year that we would have to do a match to it. So who knows what comes what's going to happen between now and then. It was just setting the stage for potentially getting some assistance with our parks, but we're not committed to it. So I thought it was a good decision. I was going in ready to say no, but with all those contingencies and we've got a way to back out without costing us anything, it was the right thing to do to set the stage. What thoughts do you have on those ones? For as far as city finances, if there's any area that I would be weak in and have to Mr. Mr. Black said with the Sun Coke, he had to come up to speed. I would have to come up to speed in finances. But now with my, my local union, we, we deal in finances all the time. And one thing I do know, I don't uh, form an opinion on finances, especially of this amount and of a community in a snapshot. And I consider a one year or a six month, uh, one year, that is more of a snapshot. And so I would not be in favor of cutting any police, fire, public workers, or anything of that. But as far as my opinion right now, I don't think that there was an emergency. And I don't base my opinion on what I see is just a real quick snapshot. You have to look at a long picture. I don't know what the, the finances were of Westchester down at Union Center in that area of Westchester a couple of years ago. But by the way, it's been developed. If there was a deficit, they'll recover from it. And so I do think that the council is addressing the deficit. I don't think they're being careless or reckless. And so the finances, uh, right now, I don't have a, an immediate concern as far as the finances. Thank you. I said I'm down to see what you're to do with maintaining the balanced budget. There's a problem right now, and I get back into a really good financial situation. What are your thoughts? Okay, I think, I think I addressed some of that already, but um, we do need to keep a close eye on things. Uh, we did receive the, the large cuts from the state, and that's what put us into 
a bit of a panic. This, well, we didn't really panic because we had we had the reserves, but um, ongoing, we will need additional businesses coming in. We will need to keep a close eye on spending because these times are a little uncertain right now, to say the least. I do think the economy will improve, and that will improve our bottom line at the end, too. We can only budget to these are recession times, and this is what our budget is going to be based on that. As things improve, so will our bottom line.